titular King Lear and the members of his collapsing kingdom comprise the characters in William Shakespeare's King Lear. The tragic play follows Lear from the throne into exile. King Lear's world falls apart because he trusts too much, thinks he can manipulate events, tell who loves him, and stay king even after setting his throne aside. He is proud and full of power at the start of the play, but he crumbles into doubt, madness, and death. The bastard Edmund schemes first to displace his brother Edgar, and then to betray his father, the Earl of Gloucester, who fathered him out of wedlock. He lies, manipulates, and has affairs with both Regan and Goneril. When he is charged with treason, he fights an anonymous challenger who is seeking to prove Edmund's guilt through trial by combat. This unknown knight is Edgar, who gets revenge on Edmund. Edgar starts the play quite naive, and he is quickly taken in by his brother's schemes. Once he's banished after a dastardly trick by his brother, he disguises himself as poor Tom, a crazy beggar, to stay in the kingdom. He cares for his father, showing his loyalty. Edgar guides his father, literally, as he's blinded. Edgar rises in stature throughout the play, killing the treacherous Goneril's servant Oswald and his own traitorous brother, Edmund. The Earl of Gloucester is an older and very loyal nobleman within Lear's kingdom. Gloucester has two sons, Edgar, his older and legitimate son, and Edmund, who is illegitimate. Gloucester is deceived by his wicked son Edmund's betrayal of Edgar, and he ends up banishing his elder son. The Duke of Cornwall punishes him for his loyalty to Lear by disgustingly gouging his eyes out. Looked after by Edgar in disguise, he eventually dies. When Lear divides his kingdom at the beginning of the play, Cordelia refuses to ostentatiously declare how much she loves her father. Thus, he strips her of her dowry. Only the King of France is willing to marry her without a dowry. Absent through most of the first three acts, she returns to Britain late in the play, bringing French forces with her. In the final battle, the rebel forces capture and hang her. Because of her steadfast loyalty to her father, she is a saintly figure throughout King Lear. Goneril is a true villain. She and her sister lie to their father the king about how much they love him and by acting to erode Lear's authority and position. She's married to the Duke of Albany, but as she rebels against her father and seeks power, her relationship with her husband deteriorates. She begins an affair with Edmund. When he's killed, she poisons her sister Regan and stabs herself. Like her sister Goneril, Regan is a true villain, finding ways to undermine her father's authority. She and Goneril turn their father out to wander in a storm. Regan suggests that her evil husband, the Duke of Cornwall, blind Gloucester for his treachery. When a servant tries to prevent this, she picks up a sword and kills him. And just like Goneril, she begins an affair with Edmund and dies after he's killed when Goneril poisons her.